Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. GV here. So today I'm in Prospect Cemetery in County Wexford and I'll be bringing you inside and showing you exactly what this sign means and what it's connected to. It's an old cemetery here in Wexford. So we'll have a look around now back in 2010, this cemetery actually made the news uh, for the wrong reasons. Unfortunately, in 2010, the sniffer dogs were in here and uh, there was actually drugs found in this old cemetery. So the drugs unit and the local police here in the Gory region actually came in here and searched this cemetery so you know it was believed that there was there was uh, people using this cemetery as a drugs drop-off point so we'll take you around and we'll read some of the old headstones and i'll show you why um that sign says about being careful so there's a marker here on the ground for Sarah Graham, 1895 to 1967. Now it does look like the only type of marker in that design that I can see in the area. So here we have um, the old crypt and all the graves of the family plot. And you can see there there's a a wooden fence going all around it so that fence is for safety purposes you can just see there no entry so we'll get back to that and we'll have a look at that in a couple of minutes So you can see the old graves here. They have been um, tried to preserve them, I suppose, and keep them from falling apart. So you can see these type of tube style um, tile kind of designs here underneath to hold up this grave slab. Another old tomb here with some brickwork on it. So there's a few of the graves actually in here that are, they're not in great shape. See a uh, Suzanne name on this one here, 1890, died in April, 1890. Nice route iron railing going around that. Another headstone just here at the foot of the, the grave, sacred to the memory of Catherine Poole, daughter of William Poole. Who died August 1876, age 76 years old. We have another family plot here. Um, Mary Frances Stopford Owen. I can't see a date on that one. Erected by, and I'll just get the torch out, guys, because I can't see this one. Erected by Henry Butler, in memory of his beloved wife, Sarah, who died the 12th of February, 1869, aged 39 years old. And Henry Butler, 
who was born on the 25th of September 1822 and he died on the 26th of February 1882 so he was 60 years old when he passed away we have a tabletop tomb just here and the name on this it says beneath this stone interred are the remains of Georgina B O V D beloved wife of James oh, sorry Georgina Boyd B O Y D wife of James Boyd Esquire of Esquire of Rosslare in this county who departed this life in August 1819 it looks like aged uh, the year the age is kind of eroded on that it could be 27 so an Esquire grave another one here and it looks like it's been held up by this leg it looks like a leg from another grave underneath this tree here erected by William Middleton in memory of his parents John and Priscilla Middleton who departed this life the latter the 16th of April 1837 age 70 the former on the 22nd of the same month, age 60. Also Elizabeth Middleton, who died the 21st of February, 1862, age 50. Then you have John, her husband, son of the above parents. He died in 1869, age 62. Um, herein are interred seven of their children. William Joseph, George, Alice, Joseph, George, Richard and John. Also Thomas White, who died in Tara Hill on July 1869 after a residence of 35 years in the above family as a faithful and affectionate friend. So that's the Middleton, Middleton family. And uh, who knows, guys, they could be related to the royal side of things. Kate Middleton, wife of Prince William. Lovely headstone here. We have affectionate memory of Jane Binions, the beloved wife of Edward of Prospect, who died 21st of February 1904, aged 74. Her husband, Edward, died in 1924, aged 83. So it's a nice little area here with trees and flowers. And this one here is erected in memory of Samuel Binions, who died in 18... 38, age 20 years old. So just here we can see another area here of the old cemetery where there's, um, we have this wooden fence going around with the no entry sign. Some tabletop tombs here in need of, in need of repairs we can see inside there. another one just here so you can see what's inside those tabletop tombs so i'm sure or i'm hoping that somebody whoever's over this area comes back and fixes it up they're beautiful um chest tombs 
and tabletop tombs. Right guys, so we have a lovely headstone here. It's the final resting place of William Griffiths of Fishgart, Pembrokeshire in Wales in the UK, late master of the schooner Elizabeth of Milford who closed his earthly voyage with all the crew on the 28th of October 1827, aged 33 years old. So it's a beautiful headstone and there's an inscription on the bottom here from many storms and dangers the lord delivered me the neptune's waves and boras from all he set me free but at a rock night here he took my Render breath. Um, in high rough breaks of water, I've suffer pangs of death. I think it says there. Just have to move that grass out of the way. You can just see the word death there, and it suffer pangs of death. Unusual inscription on that, but a lovely headstone. So a captain's grave who died in in uh, Fishgard. He was from Fishgard. So he was a late master of the schooner Elizabeth. Beautiful inscription. So we'll go back over here, guys, and we'll have a look at this old... Um, crypt and it's a really large crypt over here I'll show you we can see the fence all around it here and that's what it looks like so it is it's in bad it's in a bad way you can see all the bricks that's probably the entrance or one of the entrances into the old crypt so it's, they've blocked that up there with a couple of bricks um and done whatever they can at the moment nice one here name on this is margaret selby now if anybody knows the date on that because i've had had people tell me those roman numerals so if anybody knows the year of those Roman numerals, MD, CC, I think, XXV. Please let me know in the comments below. Nice grave. Um, unfortunately, this one here, this headstone has come away from the base of this one and there's water lodge, lodging in that so yeah so that's the old crypt there and uh, we'll read the inscription or try to read the inscription and see who's buried here that's the entrance into the old crypt you can see um, it has been I'll zoom in a bit it has been blocked up you can see this brickwork there so the door entrance to that crypt was blocked up now whether it was blocked up many years ago or recently i'm not sure but you can see the old iron um gate that goes over it there see all what they're doing in here all the bricks there in the corner i'm sure they're from that old crypt just over there after time i suppose they've just 
falling apart. It's a closer look at it from there. So you can see the way they used to build them back in the old, probably 1800s. You had all your brick underneath, all the cement and stonework. There would have been a railing then going around there. You can see where that railing would have joined on there. So it is a rather large crypt and I'm sure there's a lot of coffins down underneath there. So you have all the stone slabs on the very top. Now they would be, I'm imagining, the family members. So wherever you see a stone slab on top, probably is where the coffin is situated underneath. You have their names up above, much like you'd see in Mount Jerome Cemetery or any cemetery in Europe. Where you see a stone slab with the inscription the coffin would be placed underneath now there is a couple of tabletop tombs and stuff in there but i'm not going to go in there because you know the fence is up for a reason um, for safety, so I'm not going to go inside the old timber fence. But if I find anything online about this, I'll put it up over the video. So I suppose we'll read a couple of more. This is erected by his sorrowing wife and children in loving memory of Thomas Valentine who departed this life on the 28th of March, 1893, aged 72. Also his wife, Annie, she died in 1897, aged 78 years old. There's a family plot here. Nice looking area. So here we have, um, it says on top of the headstone here, until the day break and the shadows flee away. Sacred to the memory of Alice, dearly beloved wife of Benjamin Godkin and second daughter of the late William and Grace Earl, who died the 22nd of November, 1909 at Ballymoney, age 56 deeply regretted by her sorrowing husband and children. And the small headstone here is Sophia Grace Godkin, the loved and popular post office official from Gorey, who died the 13th of November 1950, honoured and respected to the end. She opened her hand to the poor and needy. Nice inscription. In this one we have a loving memory of a beloved husband and father, Benjamin Godkin, who passed away on the 9th of December 2010, aged 79. We have another Godkin family member on this one. Rachel Ann Lee, dearly loved the youngest and loving daughter of the late Benjamin. She died in 1930, and she's interred at Enniscorty. And I like these inscriptions. It says here, her exquisitely, exquisitely lovely face, unselfish and beautiful personality. So 
So I'll just bring you around and show you that inscription there on um, on this headstone just here. There we have it there, Sophia Grace Godkin, the loved and popular post office official. She opened her hand to the poor and needy. So that's the final resting place there of the Godkins. And we have a family plot here and I don't see any um I don't see any inscriptions on this. Loads of daffodils in there. So I don't know what is going on there or why there's no headstone or markers or anything in that area. Mary Hendley, in loving memory of her dear husband, William Hendley. He died in 1905, aged 77 years. And her daughter, Alice, died in 1898, aged 36. Some wild wild mushrooms grown here in the cemetery look at that growing underneath this headstone here yes yeah, so i'll just take you back around now guys and we'll another dog barking seems to be uh An ongoing thing would be in cemeteries, dogs barking. So there's a house just next door there and uh, very close to the cemetery as well. Yeah, so that's, this is Prospect Cemetery. And as I was saying, there was sniffer dogs in here in 2010. Um, sniffer dogs were sent in here. There was drugs found in here. The drug squad were here. And who knows, I don't know. Did they hide stuff in that old crypt or where in the cemetery? I'm not sure, but. It's a lovely cemetery and it looks like it's well kept. The grass is cut. Hopefully they'll do a good job on that old uh, crypt there and they'll fix it up. And they'll do a good job in that entrance to it there. Because it is unsafe if anybody went in there, you know, if you fell in there or anything like that. But I'm sure when it's finished, it'll look beautiful. Grave here, memory of Henry Tackerberry, who died the 26th of April 1982, and his father Nathaniel died the 25th of July 1930, and his mother Isabella passed away in 1960. Right, guys, so I think I'm going to wrap it up there, the video. So, thanks for coming along on this walk today. I hope you enjoyed the walk. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. The notification bell lets you know when I upload another video or live. So for me here in Prospect Cemetery in Wexford, take care. God bless and I'll talk to you all very, very soon.